Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be doing something a little bit different, a little exciting. I have gotten this question at least 20 times on all of my social medias. Every time I post a selfie or you know post a video, whatever the case may be, I usually always get quite a few comments of people asking me, Brie, how do you keep your hair from fading? How do you keep your hair so black? So, instead of answering everyone individually, I figured I would sit down and make a whole entire video on how I keep my hair jet black. Now, for those of you who don't know me, who don't know my hair history, we are going to dive down a little bit into that. I am not a natural black-haired woman. My natural hair color is actually a very light brown, dirty blonde. I would say maybe a level five, six, seven ish some, somewhere along there. So I am a natural blonde. When I was born, my hair was like platinum white, and then as I got older, it got into a little bit more of a darker blonde, and it's always kind of been that way. And I am the type of person where I, you know, like a lot of alternative things. Like I literally have real donkey teeth hanging from my neck. Like, I like the extremes, okay? I like things to be either, you know, very light or very dark, especially when it comes to hair color. And I remember from the time I was maybe 13 years old, I have always, always wanted really long jet black hair. And I have had my hair black for about five and a half years now. So it has been quite a while since I've had my hair black. And there has definitely been a lot of like trial and error on how I keep it so black. And, you know, a lot of people ask me how I keep it so black. So we're basically just going to kind of dive into that. I actually have had a few people who think black is my natural hair color. Boy, do I wish, but unfortunately it is not. Back when I first started dyeing my hair black, I was a platinum blonde for the longest time when I started my channel. I had very, very light blonde hair, and then I decided to kind of let it grow out, and that's when I was having, you know, some fun experimenting with semi-permanent color. Like, I had hot pink hair, purple hair, and then I think I dyed my hair brown, and I was like, you know, if I'm going to dye my hair brown, I'm slowly making my way over to the dark side. Why not just dye it black? Why not just live my dreams? You're wondering why I have a band-aid here. I shave my arms and I cut myself, so that, yeah, that, that's what that is. Why not just live the life I was given? Why not just take the plunge and dye my hair black? So before I went full permanent with my color, I actually started dyeing my hair with semi-permanent black. I believe it was, I can't remember what brand it was, but I do remember the name was Ebony. And that dye, that semi-permanent dye had a very bluish green undertone. So every time I would semi-permanent my hair black and as it would start to fade back to the brown that I had underneath, it was turning my hair this really awful green pukey dark green blue color. It was just not a good time. So that's when I was like, okay, I like having the black hair. I'm not a fan of the semi-permanent. I'm not a fan with how it fades. So I think I'm ready to dive in and go full permanent. Black hair, permanent dye all over. Do it to me. Let's do it. So I made an appointment at the hair salon and that is the first time I ever permanently dyed my hair black. And the day that it happened, I literally remember feeling so incredibly excited and elated because ever since I can remember I've always wanted really long black hair. So I walked out of that salon feeling fresh as fuck. I was like yes I have my black hair and even still to this day I am very very attached to my black hair, especially my long black hair because I've always wanted my hair to look like this. So even still to this day, I am very emotionally attached to my black hair. Like people ask me all the time, oh, are you ever going to change your hair color or when are you going to change your hair color? And I'm like, bitch, never, never. I love my black hair. <laughs> Honestly, since I have had black hair for so long, if I ever wanted to lighten my hair or go back to my natural or go blonde again, not happening, but if I ever wanted to go blonde again, my hair has been so incredibly black for so incredibly long. I think the only safe and damage free way to do that would be for me to completely shave my head and have a fresh start like that. Because honestly, it would take 
it would take pure witchcraft to get this out of my hair because my hair has been jet jet blue black for years now like years like every time I would go to the hair salon they'd be like oh you want the same as last time and the thing that would come out of my mouth is do you have anything blacker do you have anything darker what's your blackest black dye put that on my head you know what I mean so I have always taken the very extreme route when it comes to my black hair not opposed to shaving my head like if I was that passionate and if I was that deliberate on wanting to change my hair color and really wanting to have my natural hair color or go blonde or whatever so I might as well just shave it which I'm not against doing I think I could rock a pixie cut honestly but I'm not I'm not no 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 I don't plan on changing my hair color I'm just saying if I ever wanted to and if I was super serious about it then I would but for now this is how my hair is going to look until I'm probably in my 40s. Okay, so now that you guys know the background on my hair and my natural hair color and how long I've had black hair, now let's get into the nitty gritty details on how I keep it so black. So the very first question that I get all the time is what kind of dye do you use? Now when I first started dyeing my hair black, I was going to a salon and they were using the Jet Black Matrix color because every time I went, I do know that they always use matrix color and I always ask for the blackest one so I do know that and then I can't remember what happened but I ran into like a financial situation where I couldn't afford to go to the hair salon anymore and that's when I started doing it at home and I know every hairstylist who's watching this video is going to cringe in about 30 seconds because of the dye that I use now and the dye that I have been using for probably the last four and a half years is box dye. loads of controversy on box dye so many hairstylists hate it they can't they want bleh. box dye is literally gag worthy for hairstylists and you know i get it when you get when you get when you get your hair done at a salon you know they mix it up in the back that's perfectly formulated and perfectly mixed for your hair when you go to the drugstore and you grab that box you don't know what the fuck you're getting especially when it's bleach you don't know what volume you're getting it's usually going to be 40 volume which for a lot of people is way too much you don't know how it's going to turn out it's literally you just pour one thing into another thing mix it up put it on your head okay box dye i uh, totally understand it is not reliable it's not smart to do because if you you may think that you're going the cheaper route when in reality if it fucks your hair up you're going to be spending about twice as much at a salon okay i totally get that point but and I'm not saying I'm like an expert or anything, but I have been using box dye on my hair since I was about 14 years old. So I kind of know what brands work, what brands don't, what brands suck. And I have tried loads of brands of box dye. And the one that I found and the one that I continue to use to this day that has been my ride or die, I literally always get this dye. I have never had an issue with it. It is the Revlon Color Silk in number 12 blue black and it's only three dollars at the drugstore no i'm not kidding i do not go to a salon I, when it comes to my hair and my nails i mean i don't have my nails on right now but when it comes to anything like beauty related as far as like my hair and nails goes i always do it myself at home because i have been doing it for so long i kind of have my own little routine going on and i just save a bunch of money that way um i don't have the actual physical box dye to show you um so i'm just going to do like a quick Google search so you guys can see a picture of it. Just the Revlon Color Silk Beautiful Color and this is in number 12 blue black. This is the exact same box that I get. It is about $3 at the drugstore. I've been using it for about four and a half years now. I've never had an issue. Now there have been times where I would go to the store and they would be out of stock or something or they wouldn't have that color. So you know, I would try other brands like Garnier, um, Schwarzkopf, I think that's how you say that. I would try L'Oreal. And those, you know, were okay, but I always find myself coming back to my ride or die, my little Revlon box dye. Now I am in no way condoning you to go out and buy a box of black hair dye and dye your hair black okay one thing you need to understand about black hair it it is a commitment like you think marriage and kids are a commitment bitch try having black hair okay like once you dye your hair black 
it is very, very hard to go back, especially when it comes to box dye, black dye, because black box dye is so incredibly strong and it just like once it's in that follicle, it's not leaving. OK, like it is permanent as shit. But for me, for someone who likes having black hair, for someone who plans on having black hair for many years to come, that's perfect for me. Now, don't go out and dye your hair black unless you really, really want to, unless you consider all the risks and the consequences if you decide you don't like it. Just make sure that you are doing all of your thinking and having all of your ducks in a row before you make the plunge into the black hair world. The question I get is how often do you dye and wash your hair? Now this is a very interesting one because I know a lot of people when they have color like this that is super vibrant as you can see, they don't wash their hair very often. <laughs> well, I am someone who washes their hair every single day and the reason for that is because I feel absolutely disgusting and dirty if I don't wash my hair. So I am definitely the kind of person I have to wash my hair every single day. No, I don't care about oil control and all that shit. I literally just do not feel clean unless my hair is washed. It's just personal preference and as far as how often I dye my hair, I dye my hair every four to eight weeks. It really just kind of all depends, especially in the summertime. I go longer in between dye jobs and we'll get into that in a little bit, but especially during like the fall, winter and beginning of spring months, I usually go about every four to six weeks. Very rarely do I dye my hair every four weeks because that's just not necessary. Unless of course I have like an event coming up or like a wedding or something where I don't want to have any roots showing or whatever the case may be, you know, then I'll do it closer together. But usually I, I would say I mainly wait about six to eight weeks. There have been a couple occasions where I have waited 10 weeks to dye my hair and like I said I do that a lot more in the summer because typically when you have darker hair or any sort of dark permanent color no matter how good your stylist is or how good your hair color color is the sun will always fade and kind of bleach out that color so usually in the summertime um, I don't really worry about touching up my roots a whole bunch because the sun really kind of takes away the vibrancy of the black. And one little trick that I do to keep my hair so even, black, and vibrant is usually around every other time that I do go in to touch up my roots and dye my hair, usually the last 10 minutes every other time I will take what's left in the bottle after I've done all my roots and I will take whatever is left in the bottle and I will run it down the ends of my hair like so with my little gloves on I'll just kind of run it down all the way to the ends now you don't want to do this every time you dye your hair because then you run into the issue of color buildup and just you know it's just not necessary you don't need to do that but I like to call this a color refresh my hairstylist used to do this with me about every other time but usually the last 10 minutes I will just run whatever is left over down the ends of my hair just to kind of bring back that vibrancy a little bit and honestly that has worked beautifully for me especially in the summer if I have like you know bleached out hair from the sun and my hair is looking a little bit more on the brown side um, I'll touch up my roots and it'll be like nice and black and then down here will still be a little bit brown so that's when I'll just kind of take the rest and just run it through the ends of my hair and that just kind of brings back that color vibrancy for the other really popular question what shampoo do you use? Well, folks, I have good news for you because everything that I've talked about in this video so far can be bought at the drugstore. Yes, you heard that right. For under 20 bucks, you can have black hair and you can maintain the vibrancy. So the shampoo that I have been using for a few years now, um, I've tried many, many different shampoos and this one I feel has worked the best for me and that is the L'Oreal Paris L Vive Color Vibrancy Protecting Shampoo. <sighs> That's a lot to say, but the bottle just looks like this. Really, really easy to find. Just go to the shampoo aisle, find L'Oreal, find the red bottle, and this is the exact shampoo and conditioner that I use on my hair, and I feel like this is how my hair has stayed black for so long in between colorings. 
Um, this is anti-fade, high shine, and protects all color treated hair. And for any of you guys watching this video that want to know like a hair care, how do I keep my hair so shiny? How is my hair so incredibly long? How did I do it? What do I do? I do have a full hair care routine video on my channel that I did maybe a couple years ago and that is still pretty accurate to what I do now. I don't use heat on my hair. I don't style my hair. I usually wake up, brush it, and it's good. I don't I don't do anything for my hair. I mean, with my bangs, now that I have bangs, sometimes I will take a flat iron to them to kind of straighten them out a little bit. Other than that, I don't do anything special for my hair. I trim my ends at home. I trim my bangs at home. I color my hair at home. Like, I do everything to my head at home. Like a lot of people are always shocked because you know I do have very healthy, very shiny hair. I have very nice hair and when I tell people that I use drugstore shampoo and I use drugstore box dye, people are always shocked but it's like you guys when you've been doing something for so long and you've worked out a system and a routine and you get to know your hair and you know, you just kind of learn everything. It's really easy to have healthy hair and not spend an arm and a leg for it. You know what I mean? I don't use any sort of like serums or anything in my hair. I don't use any creams or hair masks or anything. I literally wash and condition my hair and color my hair every four to six weeks. That's all I do. And this is all my real natural hair. It is pretty long and I did recently give myself a trim. That is how I keep my hair nice and vibrant in jet black. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you guys enjoyed this video and you have maybe another tip for me or you learned something from my video, make sure you go down and let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. This is the first video of mine that you are seeing. Make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe subscribe button. I do upload every three to four days here and we do a bunch of different stuff. We do tattoos, piercings, vlogs, hair, makeup, everything, hauls, just random shit. So if random shit sounds exciting for you, then make sure you go down and subscribe. But as for the rest of you, thanks again so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!